Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is segment reporting or segment income statement. What is this? Uh, there are two keys to building segment income statement. So here, when we segment this, we can segment it by division, by region, or by any other criteria that the company wants to evaluate the uh, managers, the products, and so on. So a contribution a format should be used instead of absorption method. Why? Because it separates fixes from variable costs, and it enables the calculation of a contribution margin, operating leverage, break-even point, margin of safety, etc. Traceable fixed costs should be separated from common fixed costs to enable the calculation of a segment margin. So let's consider by region. We have three facilities, one in the north, one in the south, and one in the east. And we want to evaluate them. So each of these divisions, they have their own uh, fixed costs. However, there are some other fixed costs that they are common to the whole company. For instance, accounting. We probably we will not have accounting on each of these uh, of of this region. Or if we have, we also have a, a another accounting office at our headquarters, for instance, and it is a common fixed cost. So we have. Traceable fixed cost, that is the fixed cost of each division or, or of region and so on. And we have the common fixed cost. So traced fixed cost, we allocate them to the region or division. Common fixed cost, we don't allocate them. So how does it work? Let's go to our Excel file. And we will be able to see it. So let me delete it here. This is the one that we will be doing together. And here, Skype Incorporation, a whole, uh, my fake company, a wholesale distributor of electronic equipment has been experiencing losses for some time, as shown by its mostly recent con uh, monthly contribution format income statement. So here, Sales, variable expenses, fixed expenses, and a net loss, $35,000. In an effort to resolve the problem, the company would like to prepare an income statement segmented by division. Accordingly to uh, the accounting department, develop the following information. So here, our, our division will be per region, is central and West. So East, we have sales 375, Central 600, West 525, our variable expenses and traceable fixed expenses. We don't have here the common fixed expenses. Let's check if we can find it. So, first of all, uh, income statement segment by division. So, we will have one. Income statement for each division and total. Total will be the sum is central plus west. So here we will have the sum. And remember, contribution margin, sale less variable expenses. Okay, let's stop here. Sales. Is 375 Central 600 West 525. 1.5 million, 1.5 million. We are good. So there are no remaining uh, revenue. Variable expenses, rev uh, sales times the percentage of variable expenses. And here, when we are talking about contribution, uh, contribution format in income statement, we call variable and fixed expenses instead of costs. Okay, but it's the same. 
Let's go and this year. Five eighty five. Blue here, our blue here. So we have no remaining. And after contribution margin, we go to traceable fixed expenses. 240, cope and paste, and we have central and west. And here we have a problem here. That is our orange. The numbers are not matching. So we have common fixed expenses. But before that, we have the division of segment margin. That is contribution margin less fixed expenses. And here we have. And total 112 less common fixed expenses. Now the common fixed expenses, they don't go to division anymore. They keep it for only for the total. How much is it? Total fixed expenses less traceable fixed expenses. 147. And that operating income, negative 35. So here, we, when we combine these two oranges, we have our fixed expenses. And that loss, gray here, gray here. So where is our problem? Our problem is at East Division. Central is the best one, and West is an okay division. What can we do now? We have fixed expenses, we have contribution margin, so we are able to find the break-even point. However, we don't have units here, so we are able to only to find the break-even point in US dollars or dollar sales or current sales if you are not in the US. How do we do that? First, we find the contribution margin ratio. Contribution, con contribution margin ratio, contribution margin divided by sales. 48. And 70 and 60. And how do we find the total? The total contribution margin divided by sales. The same here. 61. So the East has the lowest contribution margin ratio. That is bad. And break even point now is fixable, fixed expenses divided by contribution margin ratio. So East. They should sell $500,000. They are only selling three seventy-five. dollars And here, if you have questions about uh, break-even point, we have a video about that, and the video is in our video description, as well as this Excel file, it is also in our video description. So let's open paste. We have here the other break-even point in dollar sales. For the total, we have a, big, a small difference here because for the total, the fixed cost is the common plus traceable fixed cost divided by contribution margin ratio. So if we combine these three con break even points, it will not match the total because of the common fixed expense. So for the company to be profitable, each division should sell more than their break-even point. Another analysis that we can perform is the vertical analysis. And by the way, we have a video about vertical analysis, and they are in our video description too. So here, whoops, too much. It, it is the same numbers. How do we perform here? Let's delete our vertical analysis. And let's do it. Oops. Vertical analysis, when we are talking about income statement, is the, the account divided by sales. So, F4 
If we want to copy and paste, we want to fix only the row, not the column. So we press F4 again, and now we are fixing only the row. 100%, it will always be 100%. So let's copy and paste here, paste formulas. We have here our variable expenses. It is 52% of our sales. Our division segment margin is negative 16, quite bad. Let's copy and paste here for central. 100% and here it's right. West, 100% is right too. Here, check how east is bad. Central, the variable expenses is only 30% of the revenue instead of 52. And divisional segment margin is 20% instead of negative 16 or 10. It's the double here. And Let's copy and paste. So for the total, we copy and paste until the end. And here we have it. Our divisional segment margin is 7.5, not that large because of the negative on east. And our net loss is 2.33% of our net sales or our sales. Okay, guys, that's it. Not a hard topic here, but you need to pay attention. A lot of details, so watch this video many times you want. And subscribe our channel. You will be the first one to know when a new video arrives. So, guys, thank you so much. If you have questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarping at gmail.com. And by the way, like our Facebook page, Accounting Hub by Dr. Scarping. Have a very nice day and God bless you.